Welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today with a two minute art tip. Today we are gonna be talking about photo reference. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, the thing to keep in mind with photo reference um, when you're using pictures is they, they're intended to be reference and your work gets better and stronger all the time when you just use it that way, where it's just a part of what the overall thing that you're doing. Um, today, I have a little teeny piece to show you of mine that was a gift to a good friend of mine. Um, and as you can see, there is uh, the initial photo reference um, of the female face, but you know, there's parts of it that I weren't, I, I, you know, wasn't really interested in. And um, I'd been doing a collage series for a while and my friend was kind of interested in, in one of those. So that's what I did. Uh, you can see that the drawing is actually done. It's um, double primed with uh, Miller's signature gesso on Cheap Joe's hardboard and then a colored pencil on top of that. And then um, I used some of the Japanese paper that we carry and wrapped the headscarf around the wood panel. And then just happened to have an old earring laying around where I couldn't find the other one and work perfectly in that piece uh, to finish it off. So it's a collage piece with three dimensional elements in it and stuff like that. But as you can see, the photo reference part of it was just a, a jumping off point, not the, you know, the essence of what was happening there. So um, make sure that when you use uh, photo reference that it helps you uh, generate uh, fantastic other ideas and um, catapults you in a new creative direction. Enjoy.